Framer Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Framer. Framer is a powerful platform that combines the power of artificial intelligence and the simplicity of intuitive design tools to help you create amazing websites that stand out from the crowd. Framer is more than just a website builder, it's a creative playground where you can experiment with different layouts, styles, colors, fonts, and elements to craft your own unique web presence. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the essentials of using Framer, including the process of creating a website using AI. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Framer, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for the Sign Up button located at the top right corner of the page. Clicking on the Sign Up button will redirect you to the registration page. Framer offers two options for signing up, using your Google account and providing your email address. Choose the option that best suits your preferences and follow the prompts to complete the sign up process. After successfully signing up for a new account, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This dashboard serves as a central hub for managing your projects, accessing design tools, and exploring Framer's features and resources. The dashboard in Framer provides a user-friendly interface that is both simple and easy to navigate. The main component of the dashboard is the left panel, which contains two sections, the Account section and the My Team section. The Account section is where you can manage your account settings. Within this section, there are two tabs, Recent and Archived. The Recent tab displays all the items you have been working on recently, allowing for quick access to your most recent projects. On the other hand, the Archive tab presents a list of all the projects you have chosen to archive, providing a way to organize and declutter your workspace. Moving on to the My Team section, it is dedicated to managing team-related settings and collaboration. This section is further divided into several subsections. The All section provides an overview of all the projects that your team has worked on or is currently working on, offering a comprehensive view of your team's progress. The Templates section within My Teams displays your team's templates. Here you have the option to create new templates or mark existing projects as templates. These templates can serve as starting points for your team, facilitating consistency and efficiency in design workflows. In addition, the Archived section within My Team lists all the archived projects of your team, ensuring that they are easily accessible if needed. To further organize your projects, you can create new folders within the My Team section by clicking on the Plus New Folder option. This feature allows you to categorize and structure your projects based on your preferences. Furthermore, Framer provides the option to create a new team directly from the dashboard. By clicking on the Plus Create Team option located at the bottom of the left panel, you can initiate the process of setting up a new team, enabling seamless collaboration and project management for your team members. Now, let's see how to create a website in Framer using AI. Creating a website in Framer using AI is a simple and easy process. To begin, ensure that you are on the Framer dashboard. Once you have accessed the dashboard, locate and click on the Plus New button. This action will redirect you to the Framer Editor, where you can start building your website using AI. Within the Framer Editor, you will see a blank canvas along with the option to Start with AI. Clicking on this button initiates the process of creating your website using AI. Once you click on the Start with AI button, a small pop-up window will appear asking you to provide specific information about the type of website, landing page, or app you wish to create. Take a moment to enter a relevant prompt that accurately describes the desired nature and purpose of your website. Once you have entered the prompt, click on the Start button to proceed. At this point, the AI will utilize the information you provided to generate a website tailored to your specification. To illustrate this process, let's use an example prompt. Create a personal website named Health Box dedicated to health topics. Using green and red colors, it offers valuable information on fitness, nutrition, and mental well-being. After entering this prompt, click on the Start button to initiate the AI-generated website creation. Once you have clicked on Start, the AI will begin generating a website based on the prompt you provided. If, for any reason, you are not satisfied with the website generated by AI, you can utilize the Regenerate option located at the top right-hand side of the Framer Editor. By clicking on this option, the AI will generate a new version of the website providing you with different design and content elements. 
However, if you are satisfied with the website generated by AI and would like to make changes to its color scheme, Framer offers various color combinations on the right-hand side of the editor. These color combinations are provided to facilitate customization and allow you to experiment with different color options. You can simply click on any of these color combinations to shuffle the colors until you find the combination that best suits your preferences. In addition to customizing colors, Framer also allows you to personalize the fonts used in your website. To access the font customization options, scroll down to the color section in the editor. Beneath it, you will find the display font section where you can choose the desired font for your website. Framer offers a wide range of fonts to choose from, enabling you to select the one that best suits the overall style and tone of your website. To customize the content of your website, simply click on the specific element you wish to modify. As you do so, the right sidebar will open, presenting you with various customization options. This sidebar provides you with the flexibility to make changes to the text, layout, and other elements of your website, allowing you to fine-tune the overall appearance and user experience. Once you have finished customizing your website and are satisfied with the results, it's time to publish it. Navigate to the top right corner of the Framer Editor and locate the Publish button. Clicking on this button will trigger a pop-up window where you can further customize the domain settings, such as selecting a domain name for your website. After configuring the domain settings, click on the Publish button and the platform will start the publishing process. Depending on the size and complexity of your website, it may take a while for the publishing process to complete. Once it's finished, your website will be live and accessible to visitors, allowing them to explore and engage with the content you have created. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Framer. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you found this video to be helpful and informative in your journey of website creation. With Framer's powerful AI features and intuitive interface, you now possess the necessary tools to bring your creative visions to life. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.